गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कैंसर एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग कैंसर बायोलॉजी सीरीज एंड इट विल इंक्लूड फोर टॉपिक्स सच एस क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कैंसर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कैंसर causes of cancer and uh, colon cancer development okay now today we will talk about the first topic classification of cancer okay so you can purchase the cancer biology notes too description will be available in the first pinned comment these lectures will help you in all kinds of competitive exams and semesters okay so let's start the classification of cancer first we can classify cancer on basis of their origin so in this way we can classify cancers like carcinoma sarcoma leukemia lymphoma myeloma brain and spinal cord cancer let's talk about them one by one first is carcinoma it starts in the epithelial tissue of the skin or internal organs okay so this cancer is mainly associated with epithelial tissues next is sarcoma it starts in the connective tissues such as fat bone cartilage or muscle tissues when it occurs in fat tissue we can call it liposarcoma when it occurs in bone we can call it osteosarcoma when it occurs in cartilage we can call it chondrosarcoma when it occurs in striated muscle we can call it rhabdomyosarcoma when it occurs in non striated muscle we can call it leiomyosarcoma okay next is leukemia so it starts in the bone marrow derived cells which circulate in the blood next is lymphoma it starts in the lymphatic system myeloma it starts in the plasma cells so i hope you know which are plasma cells these cells are basically b cells which secrete antibodies and then brain and spinal cord cancer so basically it starts in the cells of the brain and spinal cord so next we can classify cancer on basis of invasiveness so invasiveness means spreading spreading so in this way we can classify cancer in two ways benign tumor and malignant tumor so what is benign tumor they grow slowly and have distinct borders they don't spread to other parts of the body they show normal mitosis and they are not fatal for example fibroids in uterus and then malignant tumor so they grow uncontrollably that means cells keep on dividing continuously they can spread to other parts of the body through blood and lymph system they show abnormal mitoses for example tumors that can spread to the liver lungs brain and bone so this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture thank you for watching my video